Hey there everyone, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at The Loop, coming from Catch Up Games, one to four players in about an hour. Can you stop Dr. Fu through time and space? The Loop is a quirky cooperative game where you battle the evil Dr. Fu, play a temporal agent in four different game modes full of new challenges and replay value. All right, well, I'm very intrigued by the art style on this. Also, uh, I'm kind of uh, keeping an eye on this Catch Up Games uh, as a publisher. They've done some interesting things, and so I'm curious as to how this goes. Here's our rule book. Your shared goal is to defeat Dr. Fu, and here at the agency we cooperate. Either you win together or Dr. Fu will have ruined the universe too much for it to make sense to wonder who lost the least. All right, here's our setup. Looks like you've got this central board, which is Dr. Fu's machine in the middle there, and our space-time board. And finishing setup, number of players set up uh, will, will depend upon that. And then the game flow, starting with the first player, players take successive full game turns, one after the other going clockwise, until either a victory or defeat condition is met. On a player's turn, it's broken down into five phases, played in the following order. The Fu phase, that's easy to say. Then the action phase, and you've got different available actions, moving, applying the ability of a card in your hand, doing a loop, all right, adding a card to your deck, the archive, and the end of turn, and then the end of game. The game immediately ends whenever either a victory or defeat condition is met, and so the victory is your entire team wins as soon as they archive their fourth sabotage tile. Some game modes add their own victory conditions, and then your entire team loses as soon as any one of the three following situations occur, and you've got three different ways. So, like most cooperative games, many ways to lose, one way to win. Some clarif uh, clarifications on sabotage tile missions, artifact cards, abilities, etc. Also, we've got our booklet here, or actually just a little sheet, for the solo mode, and that is something that I will personally be taking a look at, no doubt about that. Here's our operational booklet, which has different, uh, looks like different po possibly scenarios, different ways to play the game with different difficulty levels. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at the components. We've got ourselves a screen printed bag here. It looks to be of nice size. I can get my hand in there very easily. We've got some huge wooden meeples. We're going to want to show those off. There you go. You can kind of see those are big, chunky meeples. They can withstand being thrown about. And I know that because I'm throwing them about. All right, let's take a look at some of the cardboard here. Okay. Exverminate the duplicates. Different tokens, bits and bobs. Mr. Time, I'm not going to even try to pronounce that. Time Prowler, Robo Finisher, Robo Finisher 404. Game board, or game turn onboarding procedure. All right. Here's our central board here. go we can see that more bits and bobs and tokens here's another board okay so quite a bit of cardboard components here there's also this plastic piece a couple of plastic pieces that look like they clip together and go into the into the board. All right. Not sure exactly how that works. I'm sure it describes it in the rule book. And then we've got two decks of cards. So let's take a look at those cards. Easier said than done. I'm going to need my equipment here to get these cards open. Okay. The Da Vinci Manuscript. Edison's light bulb, Tesla's teleporter. Okay, you can kind of see what they're going for here. The Enigma machine, which is absolutely not a Rubik's Cube. 
I like the art. I like the graphic design. This is one that I was intrigued about before I unboxed it, and nothing that I'm seeing is making me less intrigued and interested in playing it. All right. There's one deck of cards. Let's look at the next. This looks like it's got more equipment here. I will tell you, I'm struggling with the, getting the cards open a little bit. <laughs> Other than that, all right, like our mechanical grappling hook. Double battle monocle. You gotta have that battle monocle. Without that, you are woefully unprepared. Spiky fur. All right, so obviously a game that's quirky doesn't take itself terribly seriously. Kind of a silly look and feel to it. But I think that gives us a pretty good idea of what we'll find inside the box of The Loop. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.